All right, welcome back to Black Lodge Trivia Night, getting through Dark Souls 2 and Scholar of the First Sin as sort of a back-to-back -back overwrought comparison. I just wanted to start here, just so you could see, we're at level 105, we've been playing for 16 hours, we're entering the doors of Pharos, just to give a basic idea of where this character stands, and then, you know, we'll maybe look at where we stand in Scholar uh, when we switch over to there, because I feel like... I feel like I've got a little more oomph going on with Scholar than I do this one. So here we are, we're Doors of Pharos. You know, obviously the lock stones are named after Pharos. So you could probably expect to see a few of those here in Guy's minding his own business, so that's my cue to pile drive a bastard sword through his neck, as one does. Um, so there's going to be a lot of them, and my understanding is there are probably a few that are worth doing, and there are many that are not. So I don't know what the right way to proceed is. Well, the right way to proceed is to <laughs> Google it because this is a nine-year-old game and who cares, but um, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, I forgot he chucks axes at you. Now, what does he do when he runs out? Oh, it just turns into a street fight. Respect. All right, um... <laughs> I also respect that those crystal lizards, you know, <laughs> I'd rather jump to my death than give you the satisfaction of um, collecting my twinkling titanite. So they seem to be giving you, uh, let me just see, can you light your torch? Yeah, they seem to be giving you opportunities to light your torch here. But uh, it doesn't seem to matter too much. These guys are uh, mostly tricky for two reasons. One, the terrain, and two, I think that shield is pretty much like a... Got a side of the mountain here, and I'm just going to pick it up with one hand. I should say, one thing I did off camera, because, you know, when I was in the gutter, there was a door I couldn't open when I got to the Black Gulch. First, I just want to say gulch. That's a, that's a great word. I like that word. It's fun to say. It sounds gross. Feels gross in the mouth, as it should. But, um... There was like a door I couldn't get into, and so I was just like, okay, how do I do this? And so I went back. I knew I'd miss like an Estes Shard in Sins at least. And so I was like, you know what, let me just go exploring a little bit. So I did. There was a whole platform, you know, basically in one area I probably didn't have a torch lit. And, you know, I thought I was going to have to deal with lockstones there. Um... So instead what we did, we sort of, you know, we were coming through the shaded woods, we cut through like a tunnel in the mountains, and now we're getting higher on toward the peak. Uh, so anyway, so what I did was I, you know, ran through it again. I did find the Estes Shard in Sins. Um, I did manage to get the doors open. That involved killing a couple of giants underneath. I found a second bonfire uh, in the gulch, which... Made things a little easier, a little quality of life. Um, oops. And uh, yeah, you know, I got like a giant's soul, which I believe helps you deal with the boss at the end. The more you have, the easier that sort of optional boss is. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, you know, gained a couple levels, dumped it all into faith. You know, basically just like a little bit of housekeeping. 
some stuff I missed that didn't matter too much. All things considered. Like, you know, I was able to get through the gulch. Uh, you know, I didn't need the second bonfire. Um, found, uh, like, a twinkling titanite. Oh, you know what I did do, though? I don't know if I did it in both or if I did it in only scholar. So, you know, we got a like a town built into the side of the hill, the, the mountain. Got crystals going on, much like, you know, a little bit reminiscent of Dark Souls 1 as you were dealing with Seath. But I went back to the crows where you hand in the smooth and silky. And... Just started handing everything in. And <laughs> ended up getting, like two or three titanite slabs just for handing in like the smooth and silky stems. I don't know if I even need that many. What I was hoping I would get is I would get some uh, twinkling titanite. But that didn't happen. So I could get the hammer up all the way. I need five twinkling titanite for the next level of the hammer. My bastard sword in one of the games. It's got to be Scholar. One of the reasons why I feel like I'm a little ahead of the curve there is at plus 10. I blew a Titanite slab on that. Here we're still trying to get the necessary Titanite chunks. You know, again, I don't know if other people feel this way. I feel like there's sort of tighter rains on the upgrade material in this game, and I don't know if it's just my imagination, but Oh, look at that. Did he need to throw the back hooves? No, he probably could have attacked forward, but But it, so what it made me think about, you know, with the power curves and stuff like that, it makes me wonder, like, kind of the thought process behind, it's not just retweaking the enemy placement so it makes maybe narrative sense. It's also a, a rebalancing of sorts. And I'm curious how difficult that was to make happen. I think there's a boulder tray, yeah. Now, does it just fire because there's a guy up there? Oh, did it take him out? Okay. Now I see how that could happen. <laughs> All right. That's making me wonder, like, did I just miss a whole area in that Pharos? Tomb of Pharos stuff? Okay. Let's leave that in place. Since it can't, uh, you know, do the... You know, in the 
one two level of demon souls you can sort of get the rocks going and follow them none of that going on here so I might as well just leave alone Now in like Elden Ring, you can sort of use the crafting materials you get to judge like when should I be kind of approaching this area. Getting large Titanite chunks. Should I have been here a long time ago? Uh, chunks, shards. Just wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. I think this was it. Let me just double check and make sure there wasn't somewhere else in town. I like the idea of that church sort of built out of the rock and now sort of on its own pedestal in a way. Okay, so I'm curious what this is going to be like in Scholar, because they're giving you a chance to light sconce. You can sort of see there in the holes. Spiders. Now, a lot of them. Do... Uh, I'm trying to think. How many times do spiders show up in Souls games? I mean, sort of you could argue in like Bloodborne, one of the bosses has them. Or sort of sidekicks that look spidery. Oops, I'm going to die if I don't. But, um... But just straight up spiders is a pretty... I feel like it's a pretty rare thing. Now, I'm not going to lie, I, I don't have, like, pure arachnophobia. But, um, I will also say when, like, a swarm of those sort of <laughs> just comes at you in a video game, uh, it, it has the effect that it's going for. Even in, like, you know, Half-Life, I, um, like the head, uh, the head crabs or whatever they're called. Um, when I see one of those scurrying at me, I, uh... Definitely sends uh, let's rate that because that's great. I would not have thought to check there. Uh, it definitely sends like a chill at my spine, as it did there when those spiders came out of the wall. Oh, nice! I'll take those. Now, what I would really like, you know, Dark Souls does this to some degree. If there is a boss behind this fog door, I would really like for that you could have seen over the ledge and seen what was waiting for you. Oops. I gotta be careful here. This is not the hardest boss in the world, but you gotta, you gotta show it some respect, I guess. So there's, you can see there's two bosses you're dealing with, the congregation and the priest itself. Um, oops, oh, they're crawling on the floor. That's why I was like, I thought they were dead bodies.
know, they have this kind of boss, you know, like um, Demon Souls, Elden Ring, you know, Dark Souls 3. I like the idea of it. So, more Titan Slaps. Nice. I like the idea of it because, like, Demon Souls. has this bizarre so we can go left or we can go this way what's this way is this just a yeah, I guess let's get that lit I wonder 13,000 like I assume you can make the jump and it's sort of a shortcut I imagine but uh, let's not shortcut it yet. Uh, but what I was saying is, like, Demon Souls has this sort of religious bent to it. Um, you know, I don't believe they're literally talking about, like, you know, Christian gods and stuff like that. But, um, you know, but it takes the language of, like, a medieval Catholic church and applies it to their sort of even like sort of some of the clothing and and I thought that was I don't know I just thought that was an interesting touch I'll say it now zip lines uh, in video games make everything better even when they barely matter, as they do here. Oh, there was a zip line in the gulch that I had to use as part of my let's explore everything here. Nope. Why open it when you can kick it in? I will say this now, some of the best zip lines in the business are from a, sort of an overlooked clunky gem called Project IGI. I know you can get Project IGI 2 on good old games. I don't know how well it holds up. The AI is not good. Um, there, there's a lot wrong with the Project IGI series. But what they did right was zip lines. And more so, it was interesting at the time, what they were going for was like a wide open area to a, a, to a shooter. And so what I believe they did is they took the, the engine, the game engine of a flight sim and turned it into like a tactical shooter. And so you could actually get, you know, like you could have a mission where you have to like infiltrate an airport and you'll start from, you know, like what feels like half a mile away. I don't know where the right way to go is. We can go this way and keep ziplining down, but at the same time, we can also go this way and collect that item. glad I did because that's the, the good stuff right there. Now the problem is is that is that just a that looks like quicksand so I feel like that's just straight death. That doesn't so can I fall here? This is not where I thought I knew but oh. I thought she was somewhere else. Definitely in this town, but I thought it was a different room.
My wares are far from ordinary. Now my fear is that what I needed is that I needed boss souls, and I burned them all. Again, the chances of me using the boss stuff is probably very low, but I guess it would have been interesting to see what those options were. Let's see what we've got. Lost Sinner's Sword. Butcher's Knife, did I just Iron King Hammer? Yeah, so I don't have the souls need. Oh, so at least we can see what... Iron King Hammer. You know, I don't know if I would have messed with any of these. And that's okay. Can I upgrade anything while I'm here? Yes, I can. Let's do this. Uh, have I gotten anywhere in the ballpark of what I need? Twinkling Titanite. I have. Look at that. What else am I using? I feel like I've mostly... It's mostly those two weapons. I feel like I could put some into my armor. I mean, you know, it's a few points here and there. It's not the end of the world, right? Uh, large Titanite Shard. Yeah, why not? Well, what I should also be doing... Can I upgrade my shield? What does that do? It's not upping poise. It's upping its strike. It does up its protection a little bit, but... Like, barely. Oh, no, the next one would up poise. Let's see if I can buy any... Partisan? Heavy crossbow? What's this? A Murakamo. Obviously, that's a really good curved greatsword. If I were doing that kind of thing. Um, what do you got for arrows? Fire? Nice. Don't need any of that. Some spells? Nice. Okay, so I can't really upgrade my shield anymore, but that seems like something I should focus on. Yeah, for some reason I thought her workshop was further down. Now I just gotta be careful because I can't get to that guy. Oh, wow. I figure out what that red thing was, so I can... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no, we're nothing to see there. Another Crescent Axe. Now that axe might be a magic axe, if I remember. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I thought it was, uh, that's what made it unique, but maybe not. Or is it faith? No, it's magic. Okay. Speaking of, I can probably use this to heal here. What's 
It's a little labyrinthian. I'm not quite sure where to go. It's interesting, sort of like the spiders and the people are kind of... a different courtyard? Yeah, it must be a different courtyard because I'm not getting... More spiders, again, a little... A little chill going on. Don't know why. At this point, I must be able to equip a better heal spell. So I can't tell if I've actually, you know, done it, so to speak. Like, have I explored this? Oh. So we're both going to do that, huh? All right. Oh, that was bad timing on my part. Now he... I don't know how he got hurt there because he was swinging the other direction, but... All right, so be it. Probably playing this too cautiously, but I just. Just wanted to be careful because I. You know, as always, I don't want to have to redo all this again. I feel like we're headed toward. Too heavy to open. Interesting. You know what, lightning, let's uh, switch over to our backup, uh, the hammer, at plus three. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. Guess let's heal up a little. It's locked. Okay, I, yeah, I feel like when I come back through here and sins, I'm going to miss half of this stuff. But that's okay. So is this going to the Shrine of Amana? Is that... So how do you feel about that? I have some thoughts. Um, 
you know, for all intents and purposes, I, um... You open the door so you're locked into the, the animation. There's a way to jump down, wasn't there? I'm curious if that buys us anything. Uh, so you're locked into the animation. You can't do anything, and I think they can sort of take shots at you while you're doing that. Now, that doesn't mean I played it well. Uh, you know, like... But... It feels like what it does is it locks you in... You don't want to... Well, I guess the door's already open. Were they... Oh, they were visible. Okay, so it's not as bad as... I thought. feels like the right time to switch weapons. I don't think you want to fall off. I think you're dead if you do. Alright, so I'm going to run by, grab my stuff, and then hopefully deal with him here. Or it here. Ugh. Oh, bad call. Let's uh, pull this back a little. All right. Yeah, so you can see if you fall off, you take damage. a decent number. These guys are tough. They, um, got that hit off, even though, in theory, it was getting killed. Oh, that's interesting. Can I just sort of glitch through a little? I was trying to see what was behind there. It looks like a hall of some kind. is a boss. Let me, um... This feels like a, <laughs> a bossy kind of room. Yeah, I know, like, Demon Souls has the, you know, the giant spider. 
Okay, you see we slow down a little bit on the webs. That, you know, it makes sense. Um, the iron spider or whatever, but there's not actually any other spiders around it. And the... In Bloodborne, it's not like there's spiders. It's like the vac... The vac something. Um, it's a spider-like creature, but it's not a spider. It's very creepy and extremely well done. But it's not technically a spider. Bloodborne... There's a lot of Souls games that we could put here on the channel. I don't know if I'll ever do Bloodborne. Um... Matt's a much bigger fan of it. Uh, I'm not very good at it. And I love the setting, but I... It very much forces you into a kind of play style that I'm not good at and I don't find super interesting. I, I really like this... I like this cautious, shield up, you know, trade blows here and there, and I don't know if you can really... Well, I know you can't really do that in Bloodborne to the point where they make fun of you for trying. So. Thought I heard something drop. I got something going on here. Ashen Knight Boyd sounds like an NPC. Alright, so this is the boss run. It's... You know, make your way through town a little bit. Get through that spiked patch. There's a spider there. I guess you, well, you can't really run over the webs. Alright, let's see what happens. Ash Knight Void, you got me? Well, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not the iron spider in Demon Souls, it's the armored spider. Uh, all right. The interesting thing is the Duke's Deer Freya. This, I don't remember this fight at all. Uh, I know you gotta hit it in certain spots. I don't know if the spider's gonna keep coming. But, you know, this is a person. You know, this isn't <laughs> a random spider. This is, or, you know, I don't know if it's literally a person, but. Uh, well, that's one way to die, but can I hit it in the head? Yeah. Um, so somehow this creature is important. Can you hit it in that? Is it two-headed? It is, okay. Nope. Roll. <laughs> this could go badly. Not as badly as I thought, though. Does the head matter? Like, is it different attacks or just so you can't get behind it? Luckily, my shield held up there, barely. Like, if Ash and Knight's deal on one side, can I. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Does it distract the other side? I'm trying to test that theory, but. Takes me around. Right I wonder if that's like corrosive anti equipment kind of spew. Nope. Walked into that. 
roll. Or just get hit multiple times. Spiders don't go down when the boss does, so I think it is possible to just die. Wait, that was a great soul? Or is that just where the soul was? And right, but we didn't light like the super bonfire, so. So yeah, I'm curious what that name implies. Like the Deer Freya, the Duke's Deer Freya. Oh. Oh. So this is where his... So you remember in the headless, you know, guy we talked to in the Shaded Forest, he's like, hey, my body's gonna come for you, and it's gonna come for you hard. In Sins, a Scholar of the First Sin, it was... There in the shaded woods. Here. I didn't expect that. Here it's, um. <laughs> as you're trying to light a bonfire after beating a boss, so you could be in rough shape. I wonder if they're like. This is the last one I've done. I wonder if you did a different guy in a different order. Would this be a different. Would it show up somewhere else, like after? And is that why they give you these rooms? Because they don't know which one you're going to tackle last. So there we go. We have lit the four primal bonfires. I believe that's what we were shooting to do, four. 
and it sort of raises an interesting idea, right? It's like, hey, you've done so much and you've come so far, but you've got a long way to go still. And you've been long away. Well, I'm just curious. Uh, again, you know, not I don't know how many people watch these things, but in the let's buy a couple of these. Um, Visit you know, if people actually you in the comments, you know, great. Um, you are the bearer of the curse. Make your way to the castle. Do people feel like end games go on too long? That's the. That was my basic question. You know, because what you have is you have. You know, we've come so far, and I know there's still a chunk of levels left, but. Would people be like, yeah, let's speed run now to the. You know, like we've done so much. Let's, uh. Let's call it. Let's. You know. Tell me who I'm facing and let me go face them. If that makes sense. Because I often feel that way. And I think Dark Souls 3 has a little bit of that going on where. I thought I heard at one point the game was supposed to end in. You know, the cathedral fight in the. Well, spoiler alert. Uh. An Orlando. Um. At the top of An Orlando. Like, that was. And then it just goes on and on and on. So what do we got? We've got a little bit more poise. A little bit more protection. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's worth it. I'll be around if you make it back. I used up a lot of uh, life gems on that one, so let me blow... So we've got one, two, three. Do I only have three? I thought I had four of those. Hmm, okay. Let's get some life gems. Is that somebody new standing over there? I lose track of who I've. Oh, oh yes, yeah, the pyromancer that I gave the outfit to. I'm here, I'm with you. You even look. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. I would love to reinforce, but I'm not. Be not safe. there yet. Guess let's check in with the forlorn guy. We are these days. I'd forgotten how much comfort a little companionship can bring. Once I'd lost everything, but now I am grateful for what you have taught me. It is very little, but please take this. Okay, that'll let us respec if we wanted to, but we you don't. died many times, yes. I understand. Here, these are for you. Oh. May they help you on your travels. Do I not have that? May you find peace on your journey. Yeah, 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 sir, I don't care. Um, let me see. I thought I had that ring. However... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Feel so badly. I have one that's already better. Uh, so I'll take your little trinket and think it's quaint and move on. So we can now go to the castle. But where does one go to the castle? I want to just check in real quick with the mansion guy. See how he's doing. Now that... I've lit all these primal bonfires. Just remember how to get to the basement. Even more flame 
limbs have appeared. I don't know what causes it. I do, baby. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Something essential. I would not venture far into that. Okay. It was blocked. Yep. Of course. So how do we get to the castle? I feel like it's through the shaded woods. Do I have the symbol of the old king? That's what I don't know. Seeking salvation, it happens to them. That blue knight at the yeah, although okay. perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Now look, do you want me to take your quest or not? <laughs> okay, so let's travel. Let's see where we can go. Let's go back to the shaded woods. And let's see, I, I'm not 100% sure where to go, but let's see if we're getting what we need to unlock these other paths. Was it this one? I thought it was this one. Or is this the one that just goes to a dead end and you get, I think it, maybe it's this one. So yeah, so usually when you get to those primal bonfires and you fight the boss there, what ends up actually happening is you get one of those major souls. But we didn't get one there. We instead had this spider sort of substituting in for the duke because it's the duke's very... Hmm... That's not it. Somewhere there's a door where it opens if you have like a million souls or something. In total, not like you have to have a million souls on you, but if you've earned like a million souls in game, the door just opens. But uh, you know what we should do? Let's, um, we can figure this out. Let's go tackle this area in Sins and then, uh, and, and, you know, at least get that done and then go from there. Okay, so here we are. We're back in um, Scholar of the First Sin. And you can see we're starting this area around, you know, 1642, maybe a little longer than time. But I feel like a number of levels higher. So maybe that's part of why I'm feeling the power curve... Here, like, I feel like I do more damage. Maybe I started, I mean, now that I've got that thing and the other game up to Titanite slab levels, maybe I'm starting to even out a little bit, but, um. So, having said all that, I really feel like I missed a lot. Like,. On this level, did I speed run through it? I probably did. Was there only one way to go? Because I feel like if there wasn't, uh, I completely blew past that. Uh, so we could sell a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to do that because who cares? Um, what's that? The Ring of Giants. I think I got something like that from underneath the gulch. I don't need any of that. Let me see if there's anything he actually has to say. Nope. Okay. Yeah, did I just entirely miss this path? Because I know, I, I 
feel like I remembered a boss. I think I did. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to vanilla. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. This is the axe guy. So what was the other way? Let me, well, let me keep going this way since I'm here. gonna give it to me I'm gonna take it uh, so this is definitely the path that I followed in the first one so maybe uh, I'll need to double check the other staircase so maybe I don't get like knocked off a ledge here or something So here they moved the bonfire out of the tent. I wonder if people are having, like, if they're just completely missing it. Uh, I obviously found it. Let's go back. But it is interesting that maybe they just said, "Hey, let's um, let's make sure these people are getting this bonfire just to save them a little, a little bit of pain." Um. So yeah, let's see if there's something I just completely missed in this Doors of Pharos area. I'm just gonna do that. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me go for this. Prism stone. Don't really need it. At the moment, at least. And it's not... I, I think I checked when I was handing another stuff to the crow. It's not as smooth and shiny, at least in the obvious description. Wait, that's the way I went, right? Now that thing looks like it's got a bit of an open mouth going on there. Let's see if this is... Nope, I guess not. Okay, so what am I... Is there a way to go from the bonfire? Ah, there we go. This is, okay, this is what I remember. Okay. So I want to get onto here as quickly as possible because at least I have my mobility. Now my understanding is that there's a covenant here of some kind that can invade you and that a lot of the lock stones are mostly useful for them there's probably a few items that you want to get and so it might be one of those things where I do what I did with the gutter and I do what I did with the gulch which is you know get it done and then specifically decide what is it that I'm looking for and go from there. So I think this is Sin, uh, Scholar of the First Sin, so I would have expected some of this to be darker. And it's not too bad.
Gotta be careful of these dogs. They can... Or rats or whatever. I think they can curse you or something. Um, what I'm curious about is how many... Nope. Where would Pharaoh's Lockstones be? Is it under here? I've got six. So I've actually got some to burn, but I think what I'll do is what I was describing. I'll save it. Figure out what's what. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back and do this in vanilla. So I think I'm starting to remember what the boss was. Now, when I played this originally, this was, like many of them, this is one of the bosses that really caused me issues. Okay. Yeah, for some reason I remember doing this one, but I don't know if that's actually the smart move. That's, that's what I was gaming for. I was hoping for a backstab. I don't know if there's any point in coming in these rooms. Mostly I remember, yeah, trying to get around here. I feel like something's... Oh, is that like a death trap? Okay. Well, that's that's good. Hopefully, I don't know if they're trolling us, but at least it's potentially a little helpful. Let's back away. Oops, I needed to be a hair to the left or right. I was in the exact wrong spot. Uh, okay. So we've done that. More lockstone. So, I mean, we're just swimming in them at this point. about to go. Okay, at least that's not such a bad boss. Uh, run since I thankfully just did that bonfire. So what I should do is I should grab those souls, spend them. I think there might be a little mini boss behind that. Fog gate and then uh, keep going. Can I uh, sit down at this, or is it... Okay, cool. Now again, I think if I can get to Faith of 22, I can start hurling lightning bolts. So, that could be enjoyable. Um, but what else do we need to do while we're here? Let me see if, um, the blacksmith's daughter has any... Maybe I can upgrade it, uh, my shield or something. I don't know if I've started to do that here. Bye, four. I should, uh, upgrade my pyromancy. Did she make it? Yeah, there she is. So I could also do that, but...
Let's see what we got. So our bastard sword here should be maxed out. So there's no point in that. But what is our hammer up to? Our hammer is getting close. Yeah, let's dump some... I don't think I've done anything with the shield in this one yet, have I? No. Okay, let's start. I apologize, I completely missed most of the level for uh, the lockstone area. It's interesting that it's so... You don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> so I think this fight is going to be like a giant rat. But it's also got adds. And you got a hot minute before the giant rat descends to clear. There we go. I will tell you, this fight, <laughs> I could not do it. <laughs> it took me forever. I had to like strategize. Okay, how do I get rid of those ads before the Rat King descends? And maybe it'll prove differently in the vanilla, but as far as this, I could not. I struggled so much with that fight. We back at the beginning? Or are we somewhere else? This feels like somewhere else. But it looks like we're back at the beginning. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's teleport over to the other. Now, I don't know if I'm just doing more damage than I was doing during my early playthrough. Like, I don't know what the difference is. Because I'm clearly, as you can see, not that good of a player. So I don't know what changed. Makes such a striking difference. Nope, I'm gonna get creamed. There we go. Or maybe because I was so stuck on, like, mace and I wasn't doing lightning. I, I don't know. Okay, so this feels like a giant circle. So maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I, you know...
Maybe it's okay to move on. Right? We did the minor boss. I don't want to waste time hunting and pecking for which which ones to do. So, which Pharos lockstones to unlock. So let's go back and uh, move on. Like I said, I might do that uh, in between sessions real quick. I've been doing streams of Darklands. I haven't done that in a while. I love that game, but... Um, I'm at a point where, and I respect this for old games, but old games can get you into a position where you're sort of screwed is kind of the wrong word, but like I'm at the thing I need to do and I can't do it, like not even close. So it's not a question of like, okay, so what if I tweak this or what if I do, it's just a question of I'm generally lacking in a lot of things, and I need to figure that out. Now, the trick with that is that um, I didn't optimize my character generation. There were things I should have been doing in character generation that I didn't do. And I don't know what the trick is to take care of that. If that makes sense. Like I focused one person on religion when it's a skill in the game. When I should have had everybody have a certain level of it. I made one person the person that could pray to saints for that type of magic, so to speak. And everybody should be able to pray to some. Um, I feel like I'm getting really bad luck with alchemy. I'm not finding certain formulas that I would really like to find. But that's, you know, that's random. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, my characters are starting to get old, but um, I was told by someone who's watching the stream, and I really appreciate their insight, because they also did a, a big write-up of how mechanics worked in the comments of one of the videos, that the age might not be such a big deal in-game. So hopefully that's the case. I feel like I didn't need to do this. Like I already got this bonfire. But it, it leads to a point where, and I think this is what ended up happening to me when I first played. I, I mentioned in the stream that I used a character editor. And there are times when I'm tempted now because I'm like, oh crap, like I should have been doing this. I should have been doing that. I haven't been for the last 30 hours. What's the smart move? Is it like... I don't think it's start over. But do I get new party members that are younger? A little more optimized at character creation. And, uh... Then I'm gonna lose all the saints I've gained, all the formula I've gained. Because you can't transfer that knowledge. There's a lot of... A lot of stuff to consider. But then, you know, when I'm thinking about Darklands, I see... Oops. No. There's a game called War Tales that I was looking at. It seems like it's got some cool stuff going on. At least I'm right by the bonfire. Anyway, so I get curious, you know, like, so I, I've stayed away from Darklands for a little bit, much longer than I intended to, just because I haven't been sure how to proceed. Like, I could just go stream it for no reason, but I don't have, like, a short-term goal to work toward. And that's sort of confounding me a little bit when I decide, you know, can I keep going here and how to proceed. Also, because I stupidly, not stupidly, but because I included my dumb face on camera, 
it's harder for me to stream because I have to have more free time. More isolation is the real word I'm looking for, which I don't always get. And uh, when I play this, I can figure things out differently, so to speak. So I'm getting... I don't remember these soldiers. I don't know if I'm misremembering. I'm remembering less pigs. <laughs> Basically, I'm remembering less of everything. And I was about to say, maybe I need to take it more cautiously or more patiently, but I feel like the man, maybe I looked at it the wrong way, but I feel like the options were nobody was paying attention to me or the whole camp is alerted and good luck. I don't remember archers. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like some of these platforms were empty, so I feel like there's definitely more going on here. So I remember I chopped the one platform down and then, nope. And then there was like no reason to really chop some of the others down. I think there should be at least one left out here somewhere. I don't think. There we go. There's definitely at least one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. These are the guys that use the shields. Right, right. They introduced these guys a little earlier around the shaded woods. I feel like that guy's new. So they definitely seem to have made this more of a gauntlet. Let me take care of this guy. So over here it said attack and then chest, and when there was a message to attack somewhere else, I completely missed it. It was in the gutter, and I could not figure out where to attack to... How do you get in there? Oh, okay. So something I definitely missed in my other playthrough is that there seems to be some subterranean component of this. Is there a ladder to go down that I completely missed? Like, can you fall through the ground where he was digging? No. Seems like you can fall down the well. Is the question is that you run and fall from there? What does this message say? Maybe it's giving you try tongue, of course. I'm hearing some kind of noise that makes me think like I'm standing on top of a, an enemy.
So clearly you can come out from there, but how do you get under there? Let me try that uh, jump into the well one more time. I feel like... It'd be interesting, you know, because you could break the, the platforms. It would have been interesting if you could also break the roof of the well to jump in, but that does not seem to be the case. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's the thing I was hearing. Okay, I'm played super cautious with my mega shield. Nope, you're not dead yet. Okay. I wonder if this was something... Yeah, maybe I should... Since I have to go back to the other one anyway, maybe I should take a quick look. Yep, that's what I... <laughs> The instant I hit open, I was trying to read the message and not hit open. <laughs> well, at least I know where to go, I guess. <laughs> Although this was a bit of a bear. I feel like I need to take advantage of these wooden slats to Oh, you're not <laughs> Sir. Let's, let's uh break these guys up a little bit. Unless there's a ladder? seems to be too interested in me being here. Can I break the... Oh. Trying to go for a parry there. It's going to be tight quarters for the, uh, Mimic. There we go.
So now what I can do if I really wanted to is I can, I think, use the Lloyd's Talisman. Do I not have a... Uh... I should double check my chimes because I feel like... Well, no, I don't have a faith of 25. Do I just not have a chime I can use on this guy? All right. Let's see what happens. Okay. How are we doing on... You know what? I should... Uh, I should spend these souls. I don't know how close I am to a bonfire. So they've added somebody below. This path used to be clear, but if I can get them to... Maybe that'll flatten that guy. Yeah. Does it do anything below? Sometimes... No, not really. Now, it looks like they've added some guys to that path as well. In the spiky rocks. This guy seems new. Yeah, this feels like the wrong thing to be doing with, like, 30,000 souls. He said as he then proceeded without going back and uh, taking care of those souls. What's going on here? Death ahead, sure. Torch required ahead, of course. Visions of giant, why not? So we got three, is there any surprise though waiting for me? Basically, I just want a bonfire before we get too much further. Ugh. Yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> I don't remember these guys hanging. Am I out of arrows? No. Okay, maybe I was oh, maybe I was burning through my poison. this. Although they're making it a little... Nope, nope, they're all coming. Okay. I was about to say, they're making it a little easier because before they all just came out of the f cracks in the wall, but... That's what we get. One or two of them there. Uh, 
Yeah. Ah, ah. Again, I, I'm not arachnophobic, but uh, just seeing them swarm like that. And they turned this to rubbish. Hopefully it was not important. I feel like... This is the room full of priests. I feel like... There was a secret door. There was a, another way I went. That was bad. I'm feeling like the smart ones to waste first are the lightning people. This guy just seems to cast like emit force. I couldn't tell if he looked different. Titanite slab, nice. I feel like though, do we presume that whatever this church is, they're behind the rituals that are sort of bringing the spiders about and bringing sort of the merging between the two? If that makes sense. You know, are they responsible for the spiders and the humans merging? So, you know what? Let's uh, let's spend these souls. It was a little risky, but yeah, let's spend these souls and um, not be completely stupid. Okay, uh, let's see. 38,000. I feel like we've also picked up some items, but I don't know if we picked up enough crafting items to actually... So now, well, uh, Faith... Probably should get Faith up to 40, but... What else? I mean, I guess, like, vitality and, you know, strength, stamina. I mean, hit points, stamina. Those are the things that are left. Uh, still not much on the hammer. Nope. There's a part of me that really wants to, like, do, like, a lightning uchi. But it's, it's dex, and I, I haven't been pumping points into dex for a while, so... Anyway. Oh, what about the shield? Okay. It's good enough for now. Alright, so uh, we did that. Let's keep going and uh, see if we can take care of the giant spider at the end of this. Okay. Seems like a couple ways we can go. Or is this the only way we can go? Ugh, I don't like looking at you, sir.
Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. How do I still not have a way to cast? Oh, that's interesting. Sort of like some voice modulation going on there. Um, is there an item? Can't tell, because I remember there was an item on that platform. Let's go for it. don't like the looks of that. <laughs> the things, you know what it reminds me of a little bit? It's the thing on the internet. It's the picture that goes around the internet where like, you know, it's one of those like things where there's a uh, wall clock in Australia hanging on the wall and <laughs> you can see like the legs of this giant spider like coming out from all sides because the thing is like 15 inches in diameter. So there's a little bit of that vibe going on. That that picture doesn't make me feel comfortable going to sleep or. <laughs> so one thing, so I'm sort of picking my way through. I feel like I covered a lot of this, but I haven't. Uh, nope. Totally whiff that opening swing. I haven't dropped down yet to get that stuff on the platform. Really? Where was that, by the way? Uh, see, that's the, the issue. I, I, I think I said this in the last thing, where this area is a lot more labyrinthian than I expect, so I'm going to get turned around and I'm going to miss stuff. So here's one example of that right now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure we get this, because I'm sure I can get back around. Twinkling Titanite, yeah, that's that's important. There's definitely a lot going on here. If I can not open the door. <laughs> you know, the invasion's new. Uh, maybe there's an extra placement of that guy. Maybe he's new. So I, I got the... The reason why I wanted to make sure I hit that platform on the way down is because it's, I think, Twinkling Titanite. So I've done that. So now I can be a little more... traditional in taking the stairs, so to speak. Nope. 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 Forgot all about this. None of that seemed to bother him, though. So there's a lot going on below, so I need to be careful. Okay. I know I said zip lines are awesome in video games. That one seems a little anticlimactic. Like, you feel like you could almost make that jump. I 
I'm gonna do this just because I want to kill this spider. I don't want. I don't know how things sneak up on you. Sneak up on you in this. So. I don't know if that's actually true. Two twinkling titanites, I think. So, can you avoid getting hit when it dies? Because if the answer is no, that feels... As my children would say, that feels like bullshit. Um, that's not what they would really say. That's what I would say. But... Curious what, do spiders have the ability to climb walls? So that's where we're trying to get to, but there's invasions, there's, oh, this is the other room. This is not the same room. Um, what do we got going on? We got a guy away on the roof. turned around. Okay, so there he didn't get a shot in me. Shot at me. Shot at me. Shot at me when I... Is this... Did I... Oh. That time they did. Did I completely miss this? I very well may have. I mean, I definitely did, obviously, but... Nope. Southern Ritual Band. Let's take a look at that. I don't know if it's something I actually need, but... One of the secret treasures are stalled in Aldia. Raises the number of spells you may attune. Yeah. Glad to have it, but it's not something I'd be looking to... It's not the end of the world. Hmm, how many souls did I lose over there? Seen a lot going on in that room, I'll be honest with you. Let's take care of him. 
Yeah. So one of the, we haven't unlocked the crow NPC yet. So that's one downside to what's going on here. Um, at the same time, there's not much point to unlocking the crow NPC because you can't use it. So we don't have the two guys at the top. I saw a spider inside. We definitely have a bunch of guys. In the spike rocks that in theory should injure them when they. But they also put an item out there for you to covet. Ah, uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. No. <sighs> you can see they got like choppier animations when they're at a distance, they don't. So what's better or worse? It's all bad because it's all a goddamn room full of spiders. Do you like seeing them beforehand? Or is it worse when they just sort of come scurrying out of the wall? Now, I can't tell if their backs look like skulls or jack-o'-lanterns or... Where did it go? There we go. Looks like skulls. Yep, oh, it's on. Here we go. It's interesting that they took away the two above the top guards and instead, they definitely improved their pathfinding. No, that's gonna do it for me. How do I... It's actually not doing that much damage, to be honest with you. doing a little bit, I feel like it would have done more. So, in the... Let's go get this stuff. Whoa! Just dropping titanite slabs and chunks all over the place here. Um, okay. So, if I recall, there were more spiders. There are two doors. One had, a, ugh. one had a guy behind it in a ladder. So let's take care of that one. So is the trick that you kill them after an attack, and that way they can't, like, immediately re Oh, that's different. Right? We, we fought this guy elsewhere, but not here. 
Maybe they put this guy in the claw in the uh, in the hole there, and then they added the crossbow invasion. Not quite. There we go. So maybe that's what they did to mix it up. They you know, made this a little bit more. Because I think in the other one, we just opened it up and there was the bone and there was nothing else going on. So I could understand the idea of like, you know, why are you putting a door there to do this whole thing if in the end, like nothing happens. I don't know if there's an easy way to get to the other. Oh. Um... I wonder if you could have black firebombed that. I think this door was locked, right? See, in my mind, that feels like where the scarecrow blacksmith would be. So I've got four Estus. It's not great. can't recall. I don't believe there was a bonfire going into... So, let's, um, let's do a couple things. Let's first put back our lightning bastard sword. It's going to break soon, though. So let's then... I should have some repair powder. I haven't been using any of it. Okay, so now stuff's basically back to normal. Hopefully there's still the summon. I like when, um... Try a woman. I like when games do that. When I, I like when Souls games do that, because, you know, it gives you the option. Like, if you don't want to use it... You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to use it, right? Uh, but if you want to, or if you suck like I do, you don't feel like you are about to hit a wall. Because I feel like that is what jams people up in Souls games. It's not. I think the frustration comes when you sit there feeling like you're stuck. And so if you give people options, like, you know, to help avoid that. And I feel like NPC NPC summons can sort of do that for you. Okay, I've got four S, but I've got some life gems. I've got, you know, it's not like I don't know anything. Because, like I said, I mean, if you want to, if you want to skip them, you know, you just skip them. Don't use them. The boss, you know, it's not like you're providing an easier difficulty level. You know, you got to still do the boss. I feel like some of this is extra. Uh. 
It's sort of interesting seeing the lighting effects sort of cutting through the um, the webs. It seemed like it was trying to do something with that. Again, just chunks and slabs. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Is that a jump I can make? Does making that jump do anything? Maybe not? Okay. That's fine. I used an F. Yeah, I did. There we go. That's the summon I'm looking for. But let's take care of these spiders. Okay, Ash and Night Boyd, you and I are going to do this one more time. Okay. I think I'm all clear. Let's uh wonder if that spider Freya thing would go would respond more to the hammer. It seems like it's kind of armored. I guess I didn't clear everything out. Let's do it. Okay. Now I know there's gonna be the ads. Um I don't know if they're change up how many there are. I don't know if the big spider can actually kill her own ads. Sometimes they do that. Looks like it's going quicker to the spew that burns equipment. All right, let's see what happens. I think we're good on ads. Looks like I'm... All right, that's my, that's my own fault. <laughs> it's going to go badly. All right, there we go. I don't recall ever extremely struggling with this boss, but what do I know? Is that a dragon statue? The message said up and I never really looked up. Okay, so I think I need to quickly duck back into the Lockstone area on Vanilla just to uh, take care of that last boss. 
Uh, the Rat Authority. Brightstone key. Now, the Brightstone key, that feels like there's the door that was locked. I feel like if I were to go back. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Forgot about that. I guess it doesn't matter. Burn through this really quick. What's the message? Um, okay. Okay, so let me go back really quickly. I just want to see if that Brightstone key unlocks. But man, it's a long... It's a long walk, but um, I'm just... I don't want to fight everything again. So is that a petrified dragon or is that a dragon statue? I genuinely have no idea. Just curious. So I, I'm hoping that the locked... There's a locked... Nope. Oh, there's still people here. I don't know if I can make my way back. Ugh. Okay, I'll worry about the Brightstone key later. So yeah, what we'll do is um, quickly jump back over to... Vanilla, check out the lockstone area, and then I'll think I'll call this done. We've tackled another area. I'm not sure. Still not sure where I go next. So, I guess I'll have to figure that out as well. But yeah, let me level up real quick. Spend these souls, and then we'll jump back over quickly. Well, let me... Also, let me see if I can upgrade anything. Nope. Oh, it's alright. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're three shy, but we're getting there. Okay. How's our shield doing? I don't even know if this is worth it, to be honest with you. At some point, it's going to be a Titanite slab. Do we want to... Oh, I've got six. I was going to say, do we want to burn a slab on this? But what is a slab? I mean, it gets us... I don't know. Let's hold off on that. So the reality is those advances feel incremental, so it's kind of like, where are they, for an extra two points of this defense or that defense, does that actually make a difference? So it's telling me to make my way to the castle. That's what I need to figure out how to do. Okay. You know, maybe I'll start putting points into attunement so I can get a couple going, a couple different spells so I can have, um, let's do some lightning spear, right? 
What does this use? I think I should be able to use the chime that I have now. It's hard to believe I don't have any others, but... So now I can go and then chuck a lightning spear at people. Cool. All right. So yeah, let's jump back over and uh, wrap this this one up. And that's even after doing all the stuff. So I feel like I'm still pretty a few spell a uh, few spells a few levels down in this run through. So I'm looking for doors of Pharos. So let's take a quick peek now that I now that I understand there's an entirely separate path that I completely missed. there are people out there that are like, no, the Gurmax, baby, that's, that's all you need. And there's so much equipment in here you can pick up. And usually, you know, if I, I mean, I clearly have my preferences. But then if you, I'm sure a lot of people also then go Google PvE, PvP builds, and so many of these things just never show up. Now, how many... Let's see how many lock stones I have on this guy. Okay, six as well. All right. Or maybe I first looked at this guy and got that six count. Interesting. So, does he notice me and then take his position up there to operate the trap? Is that... That's interesting. I didn't notice... I didn't notice the actual cause and effect kind of stuff when I came through here the first time. So, yeah. So, that's spiked walls now. from the chest. So last time this I think had a crossbow booby trap. This is an explosion. I don't know if I've seen that booby trap before in this game. Okay. 
got 2,500 souls. Got nothing to lose. Let's go see if we can deal with this. I remember I did one thing where I, like, I... Like, used bows and arrows and ranged weapons, because I feel like... Whiff, whiff. Good, strong start. Um, because you, maybe you don't activate the rat authority, but you can still kill him. Oh, come on. I mean, is the trick to this boss you just hit the hind legs? <laughs> and I just didn't know that. I'm struggling with the camera a little bit, but um, that's just the nature of these bosses. A lot of air balls going up here. There we go. That might have been part of it, is that one, I was terrible at this fight, and then two, that stuff would come out and it would destroy my equipment. So then I'd be trying to fidget with, like, oh crap, I need a new weapon, I need this, I need that. So that might have been part of what I was fumbling with in this fight. What do I got, 16,000? Now, I can't recall, was there actually anything else to do here? Like, if I go clear out this area, was there anything else? That looks like something. What's up? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Uh, so if nothing else, we have at least done the optional boss, the Rat Authority. And we can head back to Majula. Hopefully I've got enough souls to get one level out of that. Yeah, I can't believe I missed that entirely. I feel like I'm going to be short at this point, but let me just see... Nope, I got one. There we go. Okay, so now I can cast Lightning Bolt on this guy. So maybe I'll start putting some attunement so I can... Um yeah, so I can cast Lightning Bolt in one of the heal spells. Maybe I should change it out to one of the better heal spells, though. Let's see what I've got. 
Um, miracle. Great. I can only do that once. Great heal. I can do that three times, but I'm not faithful enough, I guess, yet. Yeah, I'm not using much heal, so let's turn it into lightning spears. And, uh... Yeah, so that's um, that's these areas. Uh, so thanks around, thanks again for sticking around for this. Um, next time we'll start, I guess, heading toward the castle. I guess that's the next thing to do. And uh, this has been Black Lodge Trivia Night. You know, this is mostly we're an RPG actual play podcast. Uh, if you're watching this, then you've found our YouTube channel, so you can watch the actual plays. Or if you'd prefer to listen to them, or to prefer to listen to our other RPG discussion podcasts, just go search for Black Lodge Trivia Night wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, we should pop up. Otherwise, you know, you can, you know, follow us on on, uh, on the socials. Uh, you can join our Discord. The link should be in the description here. Uh, basically, we just talk about RPGs. And otherwise, thanks again. And we'll pick this up soon. Take care. <laughs>